me their heads tonight. Go buy them a bed. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you something. If we put that before God, that's our God. Praise God. Glory to God because, listen, there's people out there. I'm sure here in Scottsville, Kentucky, glory to God. I'm sure there's people here, glory to God. Right, glory to God that ain't got no home to go to tonight. And glory to God, and you're sitting there with a pocket full of money. Glory to God, oh, I'm this and I'm that. And glory to God, let me tell you something. The rich man, what did he do? What did the rich man do? He lifted his head up in hell, praise God. Uh, glory to God, the richer's getting richer and the poor people's getting poor. Brother Eddie, are you poor? Yes, I am poor. Uh, I go to God, but I'm the richest man alive. Uh, as long as you got Jesus, a brother, uh, that's all you need. You don't need nothing else but Jesus. Amen. You know, you know. I noticed something on the way back. Do you notice how many beds and couches and stuff is on the side of the road that they could take to somebody that's living on the street? Yeah. Come on, think about this. Yeah. Yeah, how hard would it be to load something up in your vehicle and take it to someone that needs it? Oh, they can't do it, bro. It's going to take 30 minutes of their whole day long. It's going to take 30 minutes of their whole day long. Oh, yeah. To yeah. try to help somebody, so we can't do that. Well, let me tell you what happens in that 25 minutes. When God calls you and you answer. And you have to answer the judgment. Right, right. You know, this is what the problem with the world is today. Why well, this is old? I don't want to give us. Let me tell you something. There's people in all kinds of countries right now sitting on rocks Amen. and sleeping on rocks, sleeping under bridges. You don't think a, a comfy, a uh, war down cast, they wouldn't appreciate that? Come on, now, let's, let's, let's talk. Let's get real here tonight. You know, brothers and sisters, time is time to serve God. If you see somebody in need and you hold up your bowels of compassion. Amen. I mean, is God in you, or are you just playing God? Come on, think about it. Do you love Jesus, or you just love church? Come on, this is the biggest problem. There's a difference between serving the mighty God and serving the building. <laughs> there's a big difference. But my see, God, there's a lot of people serving that building. <laughs> Amen. You know, I want to go to a place where we would never have to pay another light bill. Amen. Where I can walk down the street and never have another ache and pain. And when I leave this earth, when I leave it and I go to heaven, I know without a doubt the devil cannot touch me again. Amen. This is the biggest problem with people today. Well, I go to church the devil. Let me tell you something. The devel's sitting on the front pew with you. That's right. That's he, knows right. That, he knows everything about that Bible. He knows that word, brother. That's right. And see, a lot of people don't understand this. Well, 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 I'm in church. I should be safe. Oh, no. Well, You're you know, not safe. Yeah, that's where it gets back to. You know, they think everybody that goes to church or everybody that calls you brother is a brother. Amen. And my God, they ain't, brother. Amen. They Johnny, ain't. Johnny Cash made an old song like it says, Don't call me brother unless you're truly a brother. That's right. <laughs> I mean, Amen. I mean, either you born again or you're not. Now, if you're born again, then they're they going to be evidence, brother. Right. They're going to be proof. That you're born again. You're going to be excited. You're going to do something. You're going to help somebody. You're going to preach the word. Amen. My God, you got to get up and get out and get on fire for God. That's right. Amen. You know, it's just like a down there in Old Hazard where I used to live. People living in trees. But you know they're more happier living in a tree than a person in a, a mansion. Amen. You know, you know why? Because God made that tree. Amen. Man, God gave creation to man to make a, tree, uh, make a house. But they feel more closer to God's creation. Amen. Well, brother, they don't. They're they, they're not tore down by the stress in that tree, brother. No. They don't have to worry about making that money to pay that bill, brother. No. They don't have to do that. No. But you know, when we get caught up in this world, brother, and we owe out more than we can ever make yeah. in, and we're working for our own selfish needs and our own selfish wants, and we've left God out of the equation, Amen. and we're not helping nobody, That's right. which Come is why on. He's supposed to work in the first place. <laughs> but my God, everybody seems to forget that. And they go out and buy their brand new computers. Amen. They buy their brand new video games, yeah. brand new clothes, or brand new cars. Amen. My God, like you said earlier, brother William. <laughs> they see the land, Amen. I mean, it's just like um, it's like your ministry you got. Amen. But you, we went up there one day. We sit in the yard. All right, and had a sign right out there: free food. Amen. Anybody wanted free food? Several cars passed by, but never one stopped. But they never did think about the person that's living beside them ain't got food. So now, come on. Let's, let's get this clear. Amen. You know, if you know somebody's in need and you know resources to get to Amen. something to get, 
why don't you get make that earth effort to talk to say, oh, I got a, I, I'm good, but I need to, my friend here needs some money Amen. or some food or some clothes. Is there any way to help? I, and if a brother tells you that, well, well, we ain't got enough for you. Well, you'll have to come back. Well, let me tell you something. That ain't a child of God. That's somebody putting on a show. Amen. Well, you know, it says if you if you see them in need, bro, if you know a brother's in need, and you know he's in need, he didn't have to come and ask you or tell you. You see it. That's My right. God, you see it. You know he has need of something, and you have, you have a way to help him with that Amen. need. But you choose not to. That's because, right. Because, well, let's just make up an excuse. Well, I, I just don't think he, I don't think he's doing the thing the way oh, I, I think I he ought him, to be doing them. I seen him last week. He was selling. I don't give yeah. a care what he was doing last week. What about this week? Here's the problem. You, <laughs> you see the need. My yeah. God, you see the need. Now, you're claiming to be a child of God. Here's a need. You have the way to supply the need, but you're going to shut it up. Mm. Well, my Bible tells me that, you know, the the love of God don't dwell in you, brother. That's right. It don't dwell in you. Yeah. But So don't stand here and tell me that you love God because you're a liar. Yeah, if you're not helping and you have the means to help, That's then right. you're a liar. Yeah. And That's you're right. selfish. That's and right. And you belong to this world. Mm. You don't belong to my Father. And let me tell you, when you leave this world, and, you, and you're in your own self-greed, if you know what I mean. If you're in your own self-greed, let me tell you, where you're going, you ain't going to have to worry about giving anything out because you're going to be asked to be give something. Yeah. Amen. You know, people don't think that's real, bro. <laughs> but they're going to lift up their eyes, and they're going to be in pain. They're going to be in torment, a place where you're separated from God, and you can't get to him. That's and he right. can't help you no more. He can't touch you no more. He can't do nothing for you no more. Amen. Listen, we overlook what he does for us every minute of every day, people. My God, you can't even walk without him helping you. Amen. You can't talk. You can't do nothing. Come My on. God, he's helping you every step of the way, even when you're living in this sin, brother. Even when you're out here and you the worst of the worst of the worst. My God, you can't get take another breath without God giving it to you. Amen. So, my yeah. God, let's recognize this, Amen. and let's give him the glory and the honor for it. Amen. You know, the Lord says in his own words, he uses the foolish things to find the wise. Amen. You know, he could use a sinner. You know, a lot of I hear a lot of people say, "Well, uh, Jesus don't hear sinners." Well, how did you get saved, son? Yeah, I can tell you one thing. <laughs> how did he talk to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I got before I got right, he spoke to me, brother. Amen. He taught me to do things, and I had to cry for forgiveness because I couldn't stand it in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I did couldn't dwell there without falling and hitting my face. Didn't it not say that we we're born into sin? We weren't born into righteousness. Amen. We were born into sin. Without, but without we make a choice. We make a choice what we do from here on. Amen. Yep. We can serve God or we can serve the world. We can serve the wise or we can serve the business. But if you're not serving heaven tonight and you think you're going to get into heaven because you go to church and you put a little money in the offering plate or you drive a big Cadillac or you give charities, and but you ain't got the true God in your heart, you're going to bust hell wide open. And the truth is, will cost you your life. If you want to serve God, you better give your life up today. Amen. I'm not talking about suicide before you get in any twisted factors. I'm talking about that spiritual death of evil. Amen. The and old that, man, the that old man. That reborn has to die. life of God. Amen. You the know, old, he said man. he says he'd make you a new creation. Amen. What is old will be made new. What is new, brother, sister, is something different than what you were. You got that right. <laughs> See, brother, sister, this is what it is to praise God tonight. These brothers come on down here. They probably ain't got three or four nickels with us. <laughs> but let me tell you that we got we got the Lord in this house tonight. Amen. If you don't feel that, you better check your bones. Something's wrong here. <laughs> Amen. Dry bones in the valley. And you better call 911 because you're probably dead. That's right. Check your pulse. <laughs> Amen. I mean, uh, this brother over here, he brought his wife, his two kids. Amen. And they're going to go sleep under the tent tonight. Amen. And, you know, praise the Lord uh, that uh, God, God's going to make a move on Scotsville tonight. That's right, man. And it, this coming week. Now, brother and sister, uh, if you want to come on down here to, uh, <laughs> praise the Lord, uh, Landmark, yeah, that, that landmark, landmark. Come on down here, Scott. You can call me, you text message me, Facebook me, send me smoke sniggles. It doesn't matter what you, how you send it, I'll get you down here. Amen. You see, brothers and sisters, you want to feel the power of God this coming 
weekend and uh you want to take something home with you that you can last forever right, and right. ever to the you day you come pass. sick and leave healed my uh, god you want to come and get salvation that's right you want to come and taste god the true living god come Amen. on down because i'm telling you come on here right here tonight where we at it brother willie that's right my god he's here we're two or three gather he's in the midst baby that's right. and he's here and we we praising him so my god's gospel's about to get flipped upside down because <laughs> yeah, my god's here you know, it's like I, like I was telling my wife, I said, you know, let me tell you something, this weekend a storm's coming. So, I, yeah, I seen the weather change. No, honey, I'm talking about the storm of God. Hey, Amen. <laughs> the storm of God's going to shake this town. What are you going to do, Willie? Yes, you just watch me. <laughs> <laughs> Two things going to happen. I'll come home, probably dead beat tarred, or you'll get a phone call from Allen County Jail. Hey, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, she says, what if you get locked up? Well, praise the Lord. I'll just start a revival in there. Amen. Amen. <laughs> they get tired of hearing this turns loose. Amen. <laughs> but, you know, God. Yeah, I already see it now. The jailer saying, well, well, that guy's in there talking about God and Jesus, and he won't shut up. Just let him go. <laughs> Amen. Well, they did, Paul. Now, think about it, brothers and sisters. We're, tonight, we're, we're here. We're here for you. This station is not for me, not for Brother Chris, not Amen. for Brother Eddie, not for the old boy at the door. I'm talking about it is for you to serve God tonight, to get up and get alive. On, if you want to go up. Come on, See, brother and sister, if you're going to sit on that doubt, couch, uh, the couch of doubt and you think you're going to make it to heaven, you're wrong. Amen. The truth is the truth. Well, you know, Brother Willie, I mean, if, uh, you know, people's, you know, you, you've tried drugs, you've tried alcohol, oh, yeah. you've tried women, you've tried men, you've tried all the things this world's had to offer. My God, I guarantee you there's one thing that you ain't tried yet. There's one thing that can take you above all of this. There's one thing, brother, that can give you a feeling like no other feeling on this planet. And my God, it's Jesus Christ. He can save you so, brother, and put you on a high higher than any drug can take you. He can get you drunker than any alcohol. My God, he can give you what you need. Brother, he can give you what you need. So Amen. my Come God, on. search out Jesus Christ because he's the answer for all things. Amen. And, I, and that's no lie. And Amen. that's being dead honest with you, people. He He is unbelievable. He He walks with you and talks with you and sups with you and heals you and helps you and guides you and teaches you. My God, you don't get no better. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, while we get our little whistle together here, let's... uh play a few songs back to back and i hope you're enjoying the service because we're just a little bit different than most churches today amen so brothers and sisters i hope you having a blessed night i hope that you hang in there and let me tell you something if you got somebody on your cell phone right now that needs a prayer won't you text them and say call this number one two seven oh six eight one eighty ninety and tell them there's men that love you and they want to see you turn in your life to God. So, brothers and sisters, enjoy this next few songs and let God get God in your heart. Me and some of the boys were sitting around the other night. Started talking about politics, religion, love, and life. And what a shame it was about 9 11. And what about hell? And what about heaven? And is there or is there angels here on earth? And then one guy said, Well, you can take that for what it's worth. If it's something I can see or something I can touch, well, I might believe in all that stuff. So I just had to say to him, Are you telling me you've never seen an angel? Never felt the presence of one standing by. White, no halo in the light. Well, you missed the most obvious thing. Man, are you blind? Just
Just look in your mother.